there's this interesting group of birds in Australia that wait to hear about them. <laughs> that have learned how to use fire to their advantage. There's not a lot of research behind or like like, pr- ch- like Charizard. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'm saying it. <laughs> Charmeleon. Th- there's not a lot of proven research behind this. It's kind of like word of mouth. Like, oh, I've seen this happen. I've seen that happen because word's just finally getting out that this is a thing. And this is probably why fires get so bad in Australia. They, of the seven, it's like 750,000 square miles of tropical savanna, 18% of it gets burned every single year. So every single year because of natural causes. So every five years, every section gets burned or certain sections burn more often. It could be the same section. It could be just whenever that grass grows back, it's 18% of that is going to be affected no matter what. So the, the Aborigines actually brought this to modern civilizations attention. They're like, yeah, we've seen this. We've known this for years and they're called fire hawks or an, arson raptors charizard and the birds consist of the black kite whistling kite and brown falcon and what they'll do is when they when they see a fire how they originally learned this we don't know but when they see a fire they'll go to it they'll pick up a smoldering stick or a smoldering piece of grass or something and take it somewhere else and drop it and and (laughs) intentionally start a fire and little pyros yeah and oh, then okay. as they're <laughs> flying away they go <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, jerk, it's, so. it, it's basically like that they've learned how to use it to their advantage because what happens is once that fire starts to spread every insect every reptile every every, every shrew <laughs> every mole <Yes>. every bull <laughs> everything everything tries to get out of the way they're all sure. trying oh, to so f- that's how they hunt they're trying to flee the fire so it's wow. easy meal so they'll all gather around the fire once it's started and then from there it's just devour and it's partly season partly cooked yeah it's partly cooked yeah what ju- i mean you could really trick them with a roman candle yeah <laughs> <laughs> They're like all right i got a good ow <laughs> <laughs> so it's just that like i said it, it's all through word of mouth one of the aboriginal peoples was dis- it sounds like an old wives tale but well that's originally where it com- came from they thought it was like some sort of myth because there was paintings and artistry on rocks and stories about these birds doing this and then in modern times someone who's still like part of the aborigine culture was like yeah we we've known this for a long time i've seen it with my own eyes bro we sell shirts with the picture of the bird yeah. on it <laughs> yeah he, he said that's where the car name came from <laughs> firebird <laughs> he uh he, he was explaining that he had personally with his own eyes seen it a bird <clears throat> go to a fire pick up the stick, fly a half mile away, and just drop it and start another fire. We should make shirts with that on it to raise awareness, and it's cool. They're, they showed some pictures in what I was reading. And you hunt these things? I mean, they're hot. Oh, you wouldn't be able to hunt them here. I don't know what it's like over there. They're like, no, don't hunt them. Let them knock out that other 10,000 acres. <laughs> yeah, that's basically <laughs> they what they'll do. They might think that. Like, yeah. when, once they're done with that spot, take the stick and move to another spot and start another fire. That's hmm. savage. Yeah, so I, a piece want, of me wonders it, why... If maybe that's why the fires got so bad in Australia, because at, oh. the t- it, at the time this wasn't really a thing. Like people hadn't didn't really know that the birds were doing this. So now biologists are trying to research it, but they can't have any. They don't have any real hard evidence. They're out there with super soakers, water balloons, doing yeah. whatever they can to take <laughs> these things out of the sky. Yeah. So it's just like they're trying to get the word out there that this is a thing, hoping someone will get footage of this happening where the bird comes and gets a stick, leaves, and someone's able to get footage of them dropping it and starting a fire and eating. So Imagine there's no the be- actual footage? No. There's footage of them carrying sticks. But- there's, there's footage, but it's blurry, and it kind of looks like a guy in a bird suit. <laughs> <Yeah. Flying. laughs> so it, it's there's some theories behind whether these birds are able to somehow start a fire. I don't think that birds really have the capability yeah, you wonder of at that. what level is it where they're like okay well this looks like a good stick let's go find a little flame over here i'm gonna take it over here now or is it like hey that like and how'd they discover it the first time that's what like, i was ow, trying to ow, research ow. <laughs> unfortunately there's not a lot of information on it i want to know wh- where did this practice originally come from like how how did they it, it had it's because it's like instinct for them they just know to do it they're using tools <laughs> yeah they might 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like Planet of the Apes. That well, Cuckoo- that's what they're or, or in this case, the cuckoo's nest. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they're wondering: is are are they able to figure out how to how to do this themselves? To start a fire because you see other birds; they're able to like a like a raven, an incredibly intelligent bird, is able to figure out puzzles and do a whole bunch of different things and speak. Yeah, some some birds will take a stick, break it, make it a certain size, and then use it to poke holes in trees to get bugs. Right. So that, that's what they're trying to figure out now. There's just nothing about it. So if you happen to be in Australia and see birds starting fires, record it. Hmm. Fire, though? You know what I mean? Like the, well, how, They got to know there's a timeline on how far you can fly with it. Yep. They, like there's You get burnt once, and they're like, oh, don't do that again. You know. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know. Well, think about, like, I, I thought about in the wild, you have to start fire with friction because they're not going to be able to clunk two rocks together probably, no. and the odds of them getting the right rock is not likely. But a woodpecker, think about how fast their head moves back and forth repeatedly, just uh, bonking into a tree. If a bird was able to do that, dead tree. maybe they could start a fire. You never know. I don't know. Hmm. What do you think, Jeff? You buying it? I, I don't think that a bird would, through its own force, <laughs> stumble upon fire. I Now, if you said that like there's already a fire going and they just grab them or like lightning or something and that makes a fire... Then okay, that that's what it is now. That's the theory now. Yeah, but some they're they're taking it a step further and saying, well, how intelligent are these animals? Yeah, they're intelligent enough to know that that gets them food. Yeah, like I could, I, I guess maybe I could see them like rubbing their beak up against something real fast, but like that would hurt them. Well, I they I ain't got thumbs. The so way I'm like envisioning two it sticks together is they just find a good area to rub two sticks together. One, they I, just hold it and shake. I their picture head. it completely. How big are these birds? They're, they're hawks, so I would imagine. Okay, that, so they're decent sized birds. Yeah. I picture a stick already on fire that's just that's picked up. That's Same what there. I, because I, I saw some footage and it was just carrying a stick, but that's all the footage they had of it. And it was basically, it was just a small luring stick with an ember on the end. And uh, But all, all birds carry sticks, right? For the most Ooh. part. Obviously, hummingbirds don't and stuff, but they make nests. So everybody, all birds of some sort carry stick-like materials or natural materials are built that they're they use their beak to build things yeah a- almost all obviously not turkeys and stuff like that but you know there's certain most of them a lot of birds do so you figure it's not it's obviously not rare or weird that they would pick up a stick um you could also see them picking up a stick on accident that maybe had an ember or something that was like you know the fire was almost out and it just had a little red coal type thing at the end of it or something and picked it up and he's like it got to him so he dropped it and then like that's where he lives so then he was hunting and he's like whoa but it's three species three different species who when they see fire they go to it and like that's what they do they just go to the fire pick up a stick and bring it somewhere else confirmed her bird gang (laughs) confirmed by word of mouth and people only by people seeing it there's no like hard of it like video footage of someone's been like here Here's the footage of the whole thing happening. Everyone's just been like, I've seen it happen. Well, even that makes sense. So when you're out fishing and you see a group of seagulls or birds or whatever, and they're all swarming over a specific area, and you're like, oh, go over there. That's where the bait will be. And you go mm-hmm. there, and sure enough, there's a bunch of fish there. I, I, It amazed me. We moved into our new studio here in Fenton, Michigan, and in the front yard there, they were doing work on the uh, the front yard or whatever with the sign. And the very first day they came out and did – construction work to replant the the grass out there because it got all jacked up they planted the grass and within 15 minutes we had ten thousand birds mm-hmm. on our on our yeah. lawn and <clears throat> i was amazed but i'm like how were they just waiting you know yeah. what i mean like they're they just knew it was coming yeah like it's the weirdest thing that they were all just right there and mm-hmm. ready to go so it's it's definitely not a stretch to, and those are dumb little birds Hawk mm-hmm. is much more intelligent, so it's not crazy to think of a hawk going there to eat things. Oh, I, there's the fire. That means they're all going to be running out of there. That is zero amazement to me. Them carrying a stick, zero amazement to me. Them carrying a stick in order to set a fire, in order to grab things, that's a bigger stretch. Yeah. But there's like you could, you could see why they're capable, and you could see how those chain of events might take place. But to me, it wouldn't be like all the birds would know. It would be like seven of them. But like more like an well, op- right now, opportunistic thing, not a – Not species. I mean specific animals. 
Well, there's a, this has just been a known thing for a while with the the native people. They yeah. just know that the birds do that. So if there's a fire, expect another one to start. Is they understand it? Like that's what I understand from what I read. And it's not like this one bird figured it out. It's like the species just knows that that's how it goes. Like they're, that's how you get your easy meal. They're worried about climate change down there. It turns out it's just a bunch of jerk birds. Yeah, <laughs> it's true.